Friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I'm going to talk to you on the topic, the breakdown in valuations. After hitting an all-time high, stocks tend to stay there for some time. Everyone who has missed the rally completely tends to be tempted to buy at that high. So the demand actually in a stock is at very high around the all-time highs. But slowly reality sets in, people start realizing that maybe this valuation is too stretched and smarter investors tend to sell their holdings. The broader investor community which missed out on the rally may have FOMO and may want to buy at least a little bit in those stocks just to have the presence of those stocks in individual portfolios. But smarter investors who have accumulated larger positions keep watching the situation and gradually convince themselves to sell some of their holdings around the top, around the all-time high. After this selling happens, there is enough supply, especially among retail investors. The floating stock increases. More investors who are waiting to sell, look to sell. And this incremental selling tends to slowly bring the stock valuation down. The company's fundamentals are still respected by the market. Investors feel quite positive about it. But the sheer fatigue of owning this company for a very long time, making a lot of money, and then the desire to take some money off the table makes early investors get out one after the other. Also, word spreads that some smart investors exited this company. So those who are following that investor tend to sell. So those who are doing sidecars with the early investors turn sellers. This again improves the supply in the stock. So you start seeing more sellers than buyers at some point in time. When there are more sellers than buyers, buyers who are anxious to buy start noticing it at some point in time. So they start deferring their buy decisions. This increases the anxiety of the sellers. They want to sell. So they want to sell and get done with. And they are worried that the buyers are not so enthused. And they start wondering what if the valuation falls. Some seller loses patience and then he sells aggressively, breaking the valuation down. I mean, that's when the valuation breakdown happens. Then the anxiety among sellers increases. The sellers become more anxious than the buyers. And they want to exit and get out. When the market sentiment also turns negative, some sellers simply don't want to wait. At that point, the breakdown in valuation gains momentum on the downside. So the prices start falling. Despite the prices falling, somebody or the other is selling aggressively. As luck would have it, negative news flows also start showing up around that time and they keep making sellers even more anxious. So the breakdown in valuation starts gaining speed and momentum and going down. This process is what causes stock prices to go down faster on the way down, to lose valuation much faster and to gain more momentum on the way down. We are seeing that in quite a few sectors today. We are seeing that in teams like micro cap, small cap and even mid cap. And despite valuations going down, you are also seeing that very large investors like private equity investors want to still get out. Now this is going to rattle any investor large or small who is looking to get in because when they know that supply is increasing from all sides, they also know that if sentiment weakens, that supply will create a further reduction in valuation and further breakdown in valuation and more momentum on the downside. We seem to be heading towards that space in a number of companies. We are heading towards that phase even in companies where the valuations are somewhat attractive at this point in time, where the businesses may be worth owning over a longer duration of time. So for the long term investor who wants to buy growth stocks at reasonable value, this market could be a very interesting market. However, the technical factor of selling pressure is something that the investor has to individually assess in each company and reconcile his decisions to the demand supply in that stock because 
you should not rush to buy and then see that there's far more selling in the stock than you originally anticipated that error in judgment is strictly avoidable and i'm sure investors know that this is a time to tread cautiously on that aspect overall a phase when there is this kind of a breakdown in valuations is very very interesting from the point of view of long term portfolio construction it's very good for those who want to build flexi cap portfolios because the contagion or the fear spreads from the large cap into the small cap and by the time it reaches the small cap the pressure is very high on the valuation of smaller companies and the best of companies can be available at valuations which we did not think they would be available at now that's an opportunity that's too good to miss and investors must keep their eye on companies like that which they want to own and make sure that they participate when the valuation comes into their investment zone of comfort thank you for watching this video